you're in the know, then you know where I'm at and you know who he is. This is Aubrey Drake Graham. This one's for you. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever wanted. I'm hungry. Got some coconut shrimp, you know. You can chat and chew. Yeah. Some people are comparing you to like the Fresh Prince, Will Smith. Do, who do you compare yourself to? Compare myself or, or who would I like? I don't know. I don't really want to. I just want to be like Drake. I just want to be me. If he looks familiar to you guys, he, you started off on the show Degrassi, The Next Generation. You played Jimmy. Yeah, I was on for a while. Um, I, I started when I was about 14. 14. And I'm 22 now. He had a mixtape out and people heard your mixtape and they started playing your, your, your songs on the radio yeah. before you were, you, you were even signed. We just compiled this disc of music that we all felt uh, was, was, was great. And then, you know, for radio to get behind it and start playing the songs, um, was, was it, just, it just shot it to a whole nother level. You're from TDOT, right? Yes, Toronto, Toronto. Canada, man. I gotta show you a picture, because I think it's hilarious, of you growing up in Toronto. <laughs> mom is? My mom is white. White. Yeah, my mom is. Canadian? Yeah, Canadian, and my dad's from Memphis, Tennessee. That's probably who dressed me in that picture, my dad. And your parents are divorced. Did you spend a lot of time in Memphis? I, I used to go uh, back and forth. I used to go visit my dad and, and, uh, and soak in that lifestyle, too. You Didn't know? you grow up in one of the most affluent neighborhoods in Toronto? Yeah. And what was the juxtaposition from going from Toronto to Memphis? It was cool for me, you know, because everybody just used to like be like, oh, man, you're like the furthest thing from hood. And I was actually hurt by a lot of the things that happened throughout the course of my life. You know, I had to become a man very quickly and, and be the backbone for a woman who I love with all my heart, my mother. I saw my dad get arrested by like a SWAT team at the border, you know, for trying to cross over. I've seen things that weren't, didn't make me happy. They were character building. And that's why I think people in the hood can still connect with what I'm saying, even though I'm not saying, yeah, and I got crack in my pocket, because that wasn't my struggle necessarily. I speak from a place where, you know, I think it's just, it's, it's human emotion. You finally inked the deal for like $4 million. I, I, got, I got some money for it. What was it important for you in signing the deal? I wanted to own a lot of a lot of my future endeavors and my past catalog because I feel like, you know, we did do this ourselves. You know, I mean, Wayne assisted. And how did you meet Little Wayne? Somebody had actually played him uh, some of my music and he uh, he called me like immediately as he heard it and flew me out to Houston. And uh, that's where we met. I went on the road with him for about a week and a half. And uh, on that last night, we, we, we got in the studio and something happened. We clicked. And from there, you know, I just realized that that was, that was my mentor. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Did they give you a release date for your, for your upcoming album yet? It's us, right? So there's no, like, there's no label to give me a release date or tell me. I don't have to get anything approved. I choose all the pictures. I choose all the songs. I choose when I want it to come out. Uh, like, the label has zero say. You know, a lot of girls be... Thinking my songs are about them. Now, women, you, you mention women a lot. And I do you mention women a lot. I love women. Quite the quintessential ladies' man, I have to ask. Were you dating Rihanna? No. I wasn't, I wasn't, I've never, I've never been dating Rihanna. But I, I know Rihanna. She's a, she's a great girl. A great person. And you guys hang out? We have. He's getting a little uncomfortable here. <laughs> we have. No, I mean, I, I figured you like there was a follow-up question. Yeah, we have. We have. Sure. Yeah, so we, but, we, but you know, I mean, we we work together too. So. You know. Are you working on her upcoming, her upcoming album? Is that true? Uh yes, I I, I did some work on that. So I when you're in town, work. she's in town. You guys hang out. <laughs> uh, if time permits. Are you stressed? I mean, it's a lot of pressure. Cause some people are calling you savior. If I really took the time to like focus on each each of those aspects, like yeah, I'd probably go crazy, man. But it's just I have to retain the fun in this. What I learned in this game is everything takes time to set in. Just like so far gone took time. Just like me as an artist is going to take time, you know, to set in, and, and it takes time to become a legend. Greatness takes time. That's why that's why my my, my upcoming album is called Thank Me Later because I know for a fact how much pressure is riding on it, you know? And I know that right away, there's gonna, people are just waiting to be like, nope, that's not it. He's not, you know, he's not right. the one. Don't take it wrong. You don't even I'm Darius Brown, and Drake, can you say thanks for clicking? This is Drake, thanks for clicking, you already know. My man, thanks. Thank you.